yeah. I wish I could go to Vienna. It's kind of like shitty today. Um, so, welcome to Full Court Press. My name is Smoothie Smith. Uh, let's talk about sports in general in Wisconsin. Now, this is, I don't know, my reason why I picked that song for the intro. It's Vienna. It's the greatest song ever of the 1980s. But the 1980s. Hmm. Let's see. The 1980s. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's it. Well, my point is this. The Green Bay Packers are on a four-game winning, four-game losing streak. Uh, the Badgers are five and five and ha- and are in a rough spot, and uh, they lost to Iowa. Um, and the Bucks are doing fabulous as always. Now, what decade could that be reminded of? Yes, the eighties. Remember the eighties. I mean, I don't. I was born in 1993, but, um, yes, the 80s, the 80s. Oh, God, help me. Let's see. Let's turn my knowledge, historian knowledge, brain on. Hmm. Well, Green Bay. Let's talk about the Green Bay Packers. Um, two winning seasons in the 80s. Uh... One playoff appearance, and they beat the St. Louis Cardinals, and then they got their ass kicked by Dallas the next week in that strike season. Um, yeah. Um, and then the entire 80s, besides those two seasons, 82 and 89, were shit, like the 70s. Oh, God. Um, yes, that's what's going on in Green Bay right now. Listen, let's, let's like, cancel the season. And just call it like it is. They suck. Just like the Jets. Just end the season. Put Jordan Love in there. I could care less. Right now. Okay. And then find a head coach. And maybe draft some, you know, decent players. And, oh, by the way, next season, um, when we do come up with trade, when we're coming up to a trade deadline, do something. Don't just sit there like a, like a, don't just sit there like, like someone doing their homework and sleeping on their homework and then say, oh, tomorrow I have a, I'm an assignment to do, let's do it, let's do it, let's, let's, let's do it two hours before, before it's, before it's supposed to be turned in. Um, hello people, let's, like, do something on trade deadline, let's do something in free agency, let's do something at the draft, you know, I don't know, maybe trade Aaron Rodgers, he's really pissed off, I don't know, that's just a suggestion, I'm just saying. They got beat by the Lions. Okay? The Lions, of all things, the Lions. The Lions. It's the team that it's the team that makes me question why I celebrate Thanksgiving. How pathetic can you get? Do you need three buys? Do you need three bye weeks just to just to charge up the energy and and I don't know get back to where you where you're supposed to be with Aaron Rodgers and the other and the other guys on and the other fifty two players on the team? I, I don't know. But but to the Badgers, um, you're kind of in a rough spot. Um, you're five and five. You off to Iowa. Um, help me here. Oh God, help me. Ugh. They beat Maryland, which is I don't know. Just 
and then they lose to Iowa. I'm pretty bored with Wisconsin right now. Wisconsin sports in general. Um, the only thing that's really satisfying is the Bucks. Giannis. Giannis. That's all I can say. I love Giannis. You know, he does so many amazing things for the city of Milwaukee and the county of Milwaukee. Giannis. Mm. See, that's the thing. If there's only one thing, that's the only thing I'm going to talk about from right now. Because the Packers and the Badgers, i got to say, do you know what? You know what comedy show was so good in the mid mid eighties when the Badgers and the Packers sucked? The Golden Girls. Please, I'd rather sit down with my seventy eight year old grandmother in Merrill, Wisconsin, and watch the Golden Girls than watch another Badger or Packers game. It's pathetic. So, please do something about it. You know. I feel like, I feel like you're, I feel like the whole thing, the whole season, both the Packers and the Badgers, it's like, you know, that junkie, that junkie in Pulp Fiction, that DOD on the floor, okay, but the junkie lived in that movie, ooh, I mean, seriously guys, look, wake up, <laughs> You go seven and five. Um, your star running back for the Badgers is still in fantasy mode about how to run the ball and be like 1897 Wisconsin. Um, we can't live in 1897 Berlin or whatever your name is. If you if you really want to go to Michigan, you're not going to be running the ball a lot. Like what you do at Wisconsin. I'm just saying. They don't do run, 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 punt. Okay? They have a desire to win a national championship. So think about that before you actually decide what you're going to do. Um, they do, however, have a better offensive line than the Wisconsin Badgers. Which... I'm sorry, but that's the way it's going to be for, for a long time. So, um, let's face it. Wisconsin, you are two losses away from not being a bowl game. And, it's, and the blame, it doesn't belong on Jim Leonard. It belongs on the guy that got fired. He set the thing in motion. He put Jim Leonard in a tough situation. So, it goes back to that. And the quarterback still sucks. Still sucks. Okay? I have to really watch highlights of Jim Sorge, Brooks Bollinger, and Daryl Bevel just to think that we still have a great quarterback. Or actually a good quarterback. But that was in the 90s, in the early 2000s. Wisconsin. And Green Bay. Please, get your shit together. Because this isn't, this is, this is not fun. Okay? Thank you.